guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, welcome, welcome cross watchers. If you're brand new to the channel, glad to have you join us. Um, yeah, come into the comments, say hi. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Always happy to have those of you who are brand new join us, give us more energies to work with um, so we can grow the channel. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is start by um, pulling from Soul Helper Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what message comes through for those of you watching today. Card 16, perfect message for you. One and six is seven, so I love the spiritual numerology. To conform is to die inside. Be brave and be yourself. Yes. Right? Conformity is the enemy of Aquarius. You are the nonconformists of the Zodiac. So if you're here as the Aquarian, perfect message. Um, embrace it. Let your freak flag fly. Yes, little reminder, note to self. Okay? Um, perfect message. Yes. Be all about it. Uh, what I'm going to do here is pull the main spread give you my general impressions and then I'll just clarify as needed. Here we go. Remember it's a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for everybody. Overall energy, eight of swords, maybe a little overthinking, maybe stuck in some energy at the moment, processing something. Yes, you were kind of prepared to move forward and now there may be some confusion. All right, top row is your person, you're in the center row, bottom row is the connection, past, present, future. Remember it can come through reversed, it is a general reading as I said, um, and especially if you're a cross watcher. For your person here in the past, they were sort of waiting for something, anticipating something. Um, and you were all about moving forward. So there's a little bit of perhaps a disconnect. Um, and in the connection, it looks like you may have missed each other. Um, what they were waiting for, I'm not sure. What you were pushing forward on it may have caused some sort of, like I said, a, a disconnect and there may have been a walking away or just a going in separate directions. But now for your person, Page of Pentacles, it feels like fresh start energy or maybe some small offer. Uh, and it's got you a little confused and that may be why we have the Eight of Swords here. And in the connection, it's like they're showing up, um, which is interesting. This is an offer. It feels like we have King and Queen of Pentacles, um, the connection in 3D. That is for your person in the near future. Queen of Pentacles is sort of, they're starting here very small, but their plan as it moves forward is for something really grounded, really settled. And it looks like you may be open to that. Beautiful energy of the Empress. And yet, in the connection, it's something that needs to unfold more organically. It's going to take some time. So I like what I'm seeing here, although it's got you sort of um, twisted in knots a bit. So that's what I've got. Let's jump in and get some clarifiers. Eight of Swords. Two of Wands, Knight of Swords. Five. Okay, so you're confused, and you're confused for sure, but um, a little bit stuck because there was all this confusion and chaos and a little bit of tension and conflict, and it looks to me like now there's a shift in the path forward. So it, uh, some clarity coming in. Maybe this person is attempting to clear the air to make sure you understand what all that. Um, oh my goodness, a, hearing a storm coming and I can see the light changing. So I'm going to try to knock this out before I, lo I lost power this morning. That's why this is delayed. And I'm going to try to push through. Okay. 
So again, the eight of swords is when we when we're when we're over processing something. We're th thinking about it so much that we're second guessing every little thing. So now that we know that, let's just focus on what it is we're over processing. Well, the two of wands is the path. It's choosing the path. It's a decision about you know what we want in a world of possibilities and what we've got to set in motion and we need some clarity because there was a lot of tension perhaps in the past i'm seeing it we we, we were on two different frequencies before and therefore there might have been a parting of the ways so what's different now and maybe there's been some um, attempt or effort to clear up any misunderstanding and you're stuck and you're also confused okay so let's see for this person I want to kind of go from present um, to the future that page of Pentacles to the Queen this person is more settled now um, they're not as, they're a little bit more content, uh, less defensive. Um, they definitely know what they want, but they know that they have to kind of start small. They're more open to this connection. Uh, they want something more um, focused on the future, life partnership. They're, like I said, but they want to kind of start one step, one, one small step at a time. Um, I'm not seeing the seven of wands as a present energy. I'm seeing it as what they feel good about having come to terms with. The nine of cups can be um, a sense of, of emotional self-satisfaction. So now they're taking a stand for what they really want instead of being defensive and contrary, like they may have been in the past. So that looks good. Let's see one extra card on the queen of pentacles. king of cups you're the keeper of their heart so that's good they see a future with you let's go from for you um chariot to the seven of cups the past to the present emperor right i get this chariot again the star uh i i sort of you like this was you were all systems go you were all systems go with this person and then I just feel like you got lost here. Something happened. This person did not move forward. They were waiting on something or anticipating something. You were ready to move ahead, um, but you needed them to take some form of action and they didn't. And that was confusing. That's where you are right now because now they're coming back and they're ready to take like one little baby step at a time. So let's look for you, Seven of Cups to the Empress, present to the future. The moon, right, you're apprehensive now. The lovers and the King of Pentacles, which we have here in the connection. Beautiful. Yeah, you're kind of like, so now what's changed? I don't understand this. Um, and, and the whole thing is, it is, a, it is a choice. It is a choice of free will, born out of free will. And maybe you're um, apprehensive that this person will really hold up their end of the bargain because it seems like they didn't do so in the past. But I like seeing the Empress because we have that openness, that receptivity of the divine feminine coming from the highest version of yourself in the near future. Let me pull an extra card on the Empress. Mm. especially if you receive a message from the heart this is a card of sincerity something very sensitive um yeah could be even a message of apology that sort of cracks you open a little bit king of pentacles in their connection to the seven of pentacles empress again Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. So what happens here is between now and, you know, as things start to unfold more organically in the near future, this is what needs to be resolved. This is what needs to be cleared up. This is what you need to understand. We have all the fives, well, not all, but we have three of the fives here. The Five of Wands, conflict, tension, 
a little chaotic even. We have the Five of Swords feeling set up, sabotaged, an unfair fight, an unlevel playing field. Five of Pentacles, rejection, abandonment, feeling disavowed or devalued on some level. But that is shifting in this connection. It feels like this person is now stepping up and you're open to it. Um, big change, big change from what I see. Um, it seems like the roles were a little reversed in the past. But it is going to take time for you to sort of trust it because you've got the Seven of Cups in the moon. It's going to take time. And it feels to me like what's going to be really important is that this person stay steady. That they stay steady, that they hold space for you. That if it takes you a little bit of time to kind of, you know, <laughs> put your toe in the water, pull it out. You know, test the situation, put your toe back in the water, pull it out. If that makes sense, if they can sort of um, go with the flow on that, you may come out on the other side feeling um, worlds better about this connection than you did um, in the past. And the, it, it will be a stronger bond in the long run because it feels to me like this is something that had great potential um, and left you very overwhelmed, very confused, very heartbroken. I'm not seeing where the heartache actually happened, but I'm seeing the separation point over here. Um, and maybe they were looking for something more at the time. Um, but yeah, that's not ever good. And that leaves us feeling very rejected and very devalued. So what I'm going to do is um, stop here for now. I'm going to take it to the extended. I want to look at our King of Pentacles person here, um, also the Emperor, same person. In the extended, I want to see what's going on with them behind the scenes. Um, maybe how they feel about you and their intentions going forward. So that's going to happen in the extended. The links to that are below. Notice I said links, plural. There's an option one or two or three. There are three ways to get to get the extended to this reading. So take a look, see. One is just the one time purchase for just this. One is a monthly and one is the everything goes. You can get everything that I ever put up on this channel. So check that out. That is in the description box below. Also, before I give you the astrology for this reading, um, hey, if this is reflecting your experience, if it's been insightful, if it has resonated for you, if you find the readings helpful, um, you like my style, you feel like you're getting something out of them and you haven't yet, please do subscribe below. That is the only way I can continue to stay here on this platform. Some algorithmic changes have occurred and it's getting really harder for me to justify being here. So this is what I do to support myself. So you can support me by subscribing, by continuing to view when you see my little readings pop up in your feed. Watch them. <laughs> like, share if you feel called to do so. That is my ask. And that is our energetic exchange. Thank you so much in advance. So here we go. We have the Knight of Swords is Gemini. We have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. Our King of Cups is Scorpio. Uh, Chariot is out twice. That is Cancerian energy. Emperor is Aries. Um, the star is Aquarius, but of course, the moon is Pisces. The lover's card is Gemini. King of Pentacles is out twice, that's Taurus. Empress is out twice, that's Venus, Taurus, and Libra. Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And that's what I have for now. And I will be heading to the extended, so the links are below. I'll see you there in a minute. Bye for now.